Hey everyone and welcome back. So as you can see I did some things off camera. Um, I spiffied up my tower a little bit and moved everything that I had stored in the Mages Guild here. It's got this nice little desk with Hope's Fire on top of it. I've got my old helmets. I cleaned off my bed. And let's see what else. I've got my entire library down here. It's kind of a shame that this is the only way you can store books in this game. You can't, you can't like uh, have them standing up by their spine because uh, the system for placing things doesn't work that way. I still like decorating in this game better than in Skyrim. It's, it's something. About the, the lack of physics makes it more fun. Interestingly enough. But anyway, we were going to do a quest. Oh, I also tried to clean up my spells. I, tr I got rid of all the spells that I didn't want. And it's still a really long list, so <laughs> not much I can do there. I got this new fire spell. So this kind of is a slow burn, but it should do 70 plus 35, 105 maximum damage. And that's base damage, not accounting for resistances and uh, weaknesses and whatnot. But anyway, we have to get certain books for Yagram Bagarn. And the closest way out of here or rather the closest way to Ghostgate, probably by way of Aldrun. And the reason I'm going to... Uh, actually, I don't have to go to Ghostgate, I can just levitate over the ghost fence. The reason I'm going there is because that's where the books are actually hidden. They're in a couple of the citadels of the Ash Vampires. And that's usually something that Vivek tells you to go do, like to go kill the Ash Vampires, but... Vivek is uh, kind of dead at the moment, so I'm on my own. They really make it hard for you to figure out what to do. I mean, I guess if you're smart you can figure out from Vivek's plans, you know, you're supposed to go up there, up here in Red Mountain, and uh, take out the Ash Vampires, and then, then you figure out, then like while you're up there you find the books you figure, oh, this is the stuff I need to take back to Yagrim. But it's definitely hard mode. It holds your hand even less than most of this game does. This game is not all that hand-holdy. At all. This is not the way that most people beat the game, anyway. I mean, the game tells you that you screwed up after you killed Vivek. So most people will probably think that, you know, well, better reload a save and just uh, forget it. It's just so awesome to me that the devs actually made, like, a backdoor. Um, I don't know if backdoor is the right term, but, like, another way to beat the main quest. Oh man, that LOD does not look very great. Oh, I still have my Dwarven darts. Here. Let me show you what I want to do with these Dwarven darts. There. Oh! Okay. That's fine. That's probably one of the citadels. They're all Dormer Ruins. All of the House Dagoth guys are just squatting on Dormer Ruins. Uh oh. That's a surefire way to avoid fall damage. Kind of want to use my destruction magic more often. What's he casting at me? Disintegrate weapon, that's not good. I guess he's just really resistant. I bet you 
can't resist uh, silver bolts, can you? No, didn't think so. Is that an Ash Slave? Oh no, that's a Daedroth. Trying to screw around with the Daedroth. Although, with how powerful I am at this point, probably, probably don't even pose a threat to me. Pretty much anything that poses a threat to me at this point is either going to be from uh, Blood Moon or Tribunal. And I'm pretty much done with Tribunal. I'm gonna finish the base game first. Then I'm just gonna kind of breeze through Blood Moon. Tend to Soul. Kagranax study, there we go. So this should have some of Kagranax books in it. Oh, hello, Dagoth. Mr. Face Snot. Snout. Not much of interest in this room. It's kind of cool to see all these robot parts. Ah, but it leads somewhere else. See if I can paralyze him. I'm gonna try it. Ah, oh, come on. Let me use up all my magicka. If I want to paralyze someone, I guess I could just uh, use my Daedric Crescent. Amulet of Heart Rhyme. Okay. So it'd be a good thing to sell. No more Centurion plans. Don't know if I can really use these for anything, but it's a nice find. Kagranex Journal. The contents of this hidden journal are in an unfamiliar script in an unknown language. There are many complex diagrams heavily annotated with numbers and strange symbols. The title page, however, is clearly marked in Aldmeris Kagranex Journals. Silence. Ash. To the adventure who saw those Ash vampires, it goes, okay, there I am. Blah, 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 blah. I'll, I'll take it. I'll take it back to my tower. Wasn't that one of the things that Yagrim wanted? Okay, so he doesn't know where Kagunex journals. So I have one of the journals, I guess. Uh, we can increase the speed later. Actually, let's increase the speed now. Or, hmm. Now I kind of want to top off my agility. So I'll do that. Ah, uh, non-linear dungeons. It's a shame most of the dungeons in Skyrim are linear. Ah, uh, here's another one. There are two of them. They're really close to each other. Well, the Red Mountain region is pretty small. It's just like... This is about the size of it. And it's mostly taken up by actual mountains, so the walkable paths are few and far between. Oh, wait a minute. Is this Dagoth or proper? Yeah, I think this is Dagothur. Just ski down the mountain a little bit. Odrasol. I think this is where Keening is. Let's have a look. Here it is. Yeah, it's right here. Keening. Worth 400,000 gold. Constant effect, fortify magic of 50 points, fortify health 30 points, fortify attack 30 points. That means you can hit a lot faster even if you have low short blade skill. Agility and speed. That's a very, very good dagger. 
but unfortunately it's a dagger. Let's see if we can find some more journals. This lighting is a little goofy. Digoth Odros. Amulet of Heartfire. These are weird amulets. They have all these like scattered effects. And they're not even terribly strong either. Oh, oh, oh. Hold on. Hold up there. I used up all my other soul trapped golden saints when I was fighting Omalexia. You have trapped a soul message is actually um, modified by the Morrowind code patch. In the vanilla game, it says, Your have trapped a soul. I always thought it was funny how that got through testing. They also changed the uh, you can't rest here when enemies are nearby. They changed that to you can't rest here, semicolon, enemies are nearby. So I guess I thought some. Someone must have thought that was more proper English, I guess. Or more formal, at least, I don't know. Yeah, people that jump down your throat if you say that anything is proper English. So Yagram said journals. So I'm assuming that means two books that are his journals. If I'm wrong about that, I'm going to be a little bit miffed. So you even got some ancestral tombs up here. Although those, those tombs are probably made a long time before uh, this ghost fence was needed. Or maybe not, I mean the ghost... I think the ghost fence has been around for a long, long time. I have to check up on that. So the fact that all of Almsidia is dead is really a, a big deal. They've been alive for thousands of years. Oh, I found another citadel. Although I th think I've already been there. Damn it. Have I been here? Hang on, let me double check. I mean, if I were here before, you don't think. No, I think I would have killed these guys. No, I have, I have not been here. Kagranax Library, cool. This is definitely where I want to be. Dagoth Falls. I always wanted to visit Dagoth Falls. Uh, Dumber Tube. You know, I think it, it might. It seems strange that I keep bringing up Dumber Tubes and mentioning them every time I see them, but I think I remember a long time ago. Ooh, the new sermon. A long time ago when I was playing this game, I was doing that quest for Edwina Elbert, where she wants you to get a dormer tube. And I was, I was looking through, uh, like, three different dormer ruins, and none of them had a dormer tube. And I was like, man, does this damn thing even exist? So I, I struggled really hard to find a dormer tube. If you, if you go to the right regions, they will be in abundance. Anyone else struggle with that Dumber Tube quest? In... Probably not, not that many people did. Unless you were really young like I was. I think I... How old was I? I was either 11 or 10. You can talk to this ash slave. <clears throat> the chairs, the tables, all confused. We hear the words and must speak them. We take them and arrange them, but still, they will not be quiet. 
they, they will not be quiet. Uh, quiet. Why can't I say that word? Huh. There we go. No, I'm sorry. No flowery speeches. No subtle tricks. No formal boasts or challenges. Fight or leave. But don't expect me to pass the time of the day with you. That's kind of polite, I guess. I read this before. Oh, I got a nice little library here. Bone. I think this is about bone mold. Any more lessons of Vivek? Another Chronicles of Entrulift. Couple of a couple of these. I eventually want to collect all of them. Sermon seven. Nice. Do you guys mind? I'm kinda busy here. Did uh, don't tell me he just damaged my strength. Well, at least I have this. This power courtesy of Omalexia. May she rest in peace. I have that book. Galler Rathari's papers. Handwritten manuscripts bound as folios, outnumbered, isolated, blah 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 blah. Clan Ande. Um, I'll, I'll take this. Maybe I'll read it later. Bladder of Clovis. Now that's a name. That's a name for a cell. Clovis. Wasn't he the, like the leader of the Jesuits or something? Well, we're inside his bladder now. Sounds really cool underwater. Okay, so that, that room with all the books in it. So his journals aren't in here. Or his other journal. Or maybe it's in this in this desk. Let's have a look. Uh damaged my intelligence. God damn it. One Two, three, okay. Kagranax plan book. The contents of this handwritten journal are in an unfamiliar script in an unknown language. Blah 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 blah. Kagranax plan book. Wait, what was that? A less rude song? There's actually a book in Daggerfall called Rude Song. So I wonder if this is any less rude than that. They say the Iliac Bay. Is the place to barrel round on, without a bit of apparel on, as advertised in that carol song, a tune that's sung as the west wind blows, about it lovely not wearing any clothes, ladies singing high notes, men singing lows, implying that the most luscious depravity, and complete absence of serious gravity, can only be found in the wateriest cavity of the Iliac Bay. If you are the type who is a, more a sinner than a sin, you'll find it all in Morrowind. But the truth, my child, is that nothing more wild than an ordinary fashion can of slightly, kind of slightly mad passion can be detected, if at all, in Sentinel and Daggerfall. Whatever your odd needs, feathered, scaled, or finned, you'll find it all in Morrowind. It's an invention of bards that Bretons and Redguards have more than some staid fun and suffer deviant fornication. For the most of madness, not the least, the wise debaucher heads out east. Where your once steely reserve is now merely tinned, you'll find it all in Morrowind. In Morrowind there is no sin, but pray do not confuse Dunmer variety with that found in tepid western society, compared to which it nearly is piety. It isn't terribly ingenious calling it prudery, 
observing the dark elf aversion to nudity. Prudery, nudity. Eh, I guess that works. After all, the preferred sort of nudity in these parts is far more pernicious. In these part, uh, from the Ashlanders to the wettest fishes, you'll find pleasure and pain quite delicious. Wait a minute. Screwing fishes. People actually have sex with slaughterfish? You find pleasure and pain quite delicious in Morrowind. If you find yourself with unkind kinship with your kin, you'll find it all in Morrowind. Well. Those are some nice mental images to have. So, Galar, Rathari's papers. 36 Lessons of Vivek. I'd like to, like, stack all those books on them by themselves. But then I have to redo all that. Eh, never mind. Just want to see how many different ones I have so far. So let's see, I have 3, 7, 10... 12. Did I have 13 somewhere? Fifteen. Sixteen. Alright, so I got a lot more sermons to go. Okay, Yagrum Bagagrum. I've got your books. Let me turn off the voice so I don't have to hear him. If you really brought me Kagrinak's plan book in Kagrinak's journals, I can at least try to restore the Mythopoeic enchantments on Wraithguard. Kagrinak carefully planned all his projects in advance. His plan book will have all the original designs. I don't know where the plan book might be, but I am fairly sure it hasn't been discovered, or Devaith Fur would have heard and would have told me. That suggests it remains to be discovered in some fellow ruin here on Badenfeld. I have it right, it's right here. You found Kagunak's journals in Kagunak's plan book. Good. I'll take them and study them. It shouldn't take me long. Give me a day, then come back. I think I can restore Braithgard's mythopoeic enchantments. I need to quit doing that voice. That is, that is a really stupid voice. <laughs> I'll just stand here for a day, don't mind me. Oops, that, that wasn't 24 hours. Are you done? What brings you to visit I have learned all that I can from Kagrenak's plan book and Kagrenak's journals. Now if you're still willing, I'll try to restore the Mythopoeic enchantments on Wraithguard. I have studied Kagrenak's plan book and his journals. I, I know what to do. The artifact simply must be harmonized with your personal Magicka signature. However, the process is dangerous. You will certainly be injured. I am certain, however, that you will survive the process. Are you ready for me to activate Wraithguard and harmonize it to your Magicka signature? Please activate Wraithguard. Very well. Agrim Bagarn takes the unique art Dummer artifact and performs a series of manipulations. He then returns it. Now, the first time you equip Wraithguard, you will experience a terrible shock. If you are in perfect health, I am confident you will survive. But you may want to fortify your health as much as possible beforehand, just in case. Afterwards, Wraithguard should be working as designed and everything will be fine. So it's a, it's a jury-rigged Wraithguard. It looks a little bit different. Wraithguard. It's not... I think its stats aren't quite as good as the, the real Wraithguard. Let's see, it's also a... It's the right hand. I don't think that permanently damaged my health. The glitch is that it permanently damages your health. But I guess it didn't. If you have the real Wraith Guard, it doesn't do that to you. Alright, now that I have Wraith Guard, let's try equipping Keening. So Keening doesn't kill me, that's nice. I never went to Veminol. You need to go to Veminol to get Sunder. Shoot. 
Well, back to Aldrin then. That is not a very good spell. Alright, well this is going nowhere. And if you go to Red Mountain and you don't know exactly where you're going, it turns into a real shit show. You know what, I think I'm going to chill at Ghostgate for a little bit. Maybe I can ask for directions there. Uh, so that old man isn't here. Usually you'll see a guy here that's... He's supposed to be... Who is he, like Izmir or something? Like he's an avatar of some divine... Please. Have a look around. What up? Why do you disturb me? Alright, so you're a boy in armature. Maybe you know some stuff. Nainlon, Naravarin, Patui. Lies and superstition. Why do you defy the temple teachings? And worse yet, now we learn that you are an agent of the Emperor and an outlaw. I warn you, just because I talk to you, don't think everyone will. Others reach for weapons when they see an outlaw and a heret and a he uh, and a heretic. It's weird, like certain words I can't do that voice for. Lighthearted, yeah, you're, you're very lighthearted. From the greeting you gave me, I can tell you're very lighthearted. So he doesn't know anything. Um, Alexia is the healing mother, a source of compassion and sympathy, a protector of the poor and the weak. You are wrong. You are foolish to say such things. Go away. There's no time for talk now. Go. I mean, I'm I'm kind of on an important mission. Can't you guys help me out? I'm trying to kill Dagoth Third. Don't you think that's well, I haven't worthwhile? Haven't all day to stand around and talk to you. Okay, so you're a scout. So maybe you know something. About Red Mountain. Red Mountain is the great volcano in the center of Vardenfell Island. To reach Red Mountain, follow Foyata Mamea from the old Dumber Bridge near Fort Moonmoth at Ghost Gate. When I'm we're here at Ghost Gate. Doesn't anybody know where Veminol is? What up, Bander? Why do you disturb? Okay, now, Bander. Can't you guys see Come that on. I have Wraith Guard? Got all day to stand around and talk to you. Fine. I've got better things to do, so if you don't mind, let's meet. Bunch of jerks. Uh, the siren call of the cliff racer. So beautiful, so majestic. I got this whole unexplored expanse here. Might be somewhere out. Oh, there it is. Well, it's a dormer ruin, so it might be. Oh, them and all, yep. I just need to find the door before these guys kill me. Where is that door? There it is. So this is where we'll find Sunder. We need Wraith Guard, Sunder, and Keening. And you can defeat Dagothur. for true flame. Uh, there's the Dagoth I'm looking for. There we go. Did he damage my attributes? Uh, I can't tell. But he has Sunder, so that's the important thing. Ouch. Hurt me just a little bit. In Citadel Viminal, I discovered the artifact Hammer Sunder, one of the enchanted tools created by the Doran Craft Lord Kagernak. It fortifies my attack by 30 points, fortifies my strength, drains my fatigue. It's constantly draining my fatigue. So it has really good bonuses, but uh, the fatigue drain is kind of rough. Wow. 
That's pretty impressive. I don't recall ever training my blunt weapon. Um, blunt, blunt, blunt. 30. <laughs> well, you don't really need much skill because it fortifies your attack by so much. Alright, to Dagother. I forgot to use Boots Guard. class islands are created by volcanoes essentially so this is kind of the birthplace of Vardenfell and it's also what causes Vardenfell's demise so it's like poetry or like pottery if you want to meme it up Get ready to hear some sweet Dagothra voice. His sweet nectary voice. As it should be. I mean, cult leaders are supposed to be very approachable. They're supposed to sound really nice. Because that's how they're able to operate. You know, they trick people into thinking that they're good people. Some people not, might not like the fact that Dagothur is yet another Dwemer Ruin, but it, it fits the plot of the game. I mean, see, Dagothur and the Tribunal, they all use Dwemer stuff to make themselves gods. So, like, this Dwemer ingenuity is, is really the source of all their power. So it makes sense that, you know, all of, all of the Ash Vampire Citadels would just be Dumber Ruins. They're really just developing their empire off the backs of the Dumber. I guess the, the ultimate source of power is the heart of Lorcan, but uh, the Dumber were the ones, or Tagranak specifically, he was the one who figured out how to harness its power. And the Tribunal are just like, hey, we can use his research to do, just just do that for ourselves. So. Just went ahead and did that. The tribunal is pretty corrupt, but uh, Dagothur is worse. That's why he's the villain. Uh, they're all pretty bad, hence why I killed them all. I've slain Om Sivi. Kind of begs the question how do Om Sivi intervention spells work? Now that they're all dead. Another question is why isn't Dagothor talking to me? And they give you this, this back door to the end of the main quest, but. Now we don't hear Dagothur's speech anymore, that's a shame. He says several things to you, but like, as you're approaching. Okay, now he'll probably talk to us. Dagothur welcomes you, Nerevar, my old friend. But to this place where destiny is made. Why have you come unprepared? He has no idea. He doesn't think we have Wraithguard. Well, isn't that hilarious? He's got his nice little place here. He just kind of hangs out here all day. It began here, 
it will end here. Have you any parting words? Or would you prefer to skip the speeches and get to our business? You are the challenger here, after all. So to you goes the courtesy of the first blow. So apparently now he he knows that I have Sunder and Keening and Wraithguard. You know what, there's actually a cut line from Dagother. Apparently it was planned to have like this uh, version of Sunder that is like a false copy. Here's what he says to you if you have it. <laughs> Did you get the false copy of Sunder? Shame on you! <laughs> I love that line. I don't know how, how that false copy of Sunder thing would have worked out all that well, but um, it's probably cut because it was, you know, it just didn't add much. You know, you'd like you'd go all the way to Dagothur and then you'd just have the wrong thing. That'd be kind of lame. But at least we got to hear that line, so it's all good. Now that you have come to me here, there can be what, but one result. Many times I have rehearsed speeches offering to share this place with you. If you dare to defy the gods, take my hand. To seal our oath of alliance, you shall give me Wraithguard. You have ability, special gifts you don't even understand. Serve me, and I can help you master these gifts. But I have won this place by power. Let me try that again. But I have won this place in power by right of conquest. By right of daring and enterprise, I will not risk it to cunning and deceit. I offer you no deals. If you are my enemy, I cannot trust you. And even if you are not my enemy, I cannot let you live. It will all be decided here. I believe I will prevail. But I cannot be sure. And I am vain enough that, should I fall, I would wish to be remembered in my own words. So, if you have final questions you would ask, ask them now. I have final questions I would ask you, if you would answer. My first question is, are you really Nerevar Reborn? Well, if the prophecies are to be believed, by grace of gods and fate, I am Nerevar Reborn. That is bitter. The gods and fates are cruel. I served you faithfully once, Lord Nerevar, and you repaid me with death. I hope this time it will be you who pays for your faithlessness. My second question is, if you win, what do you plan to do with the power from the heart? Will you make yourself a god and establish a theonomy? I think you mean theocracy, but whatever. Or will you complete a Kulakon and dispute control of Tamriel with the Septims? Or will you share the heart with your followers, as have as I have, and breed a new race of divine immortals? You know, this this uh, ending is really similar to the ending of Daggerfall. I just I just thought of that. I mean, you have the Numidium, well, his his version of the Numidium, which is a Akulakon. It's the second Numidium, I guess. You know, that's actually why I called my account Numidium Three because there there are like two Numidiums in the lore, so it's. Like, you know, so, like if someone were to make another Numidium, it'd be the third, but whatever. Now you know. You probably never cared. Um, complete a Kulakon, share the heart. Any of these answers would be a lie. Except for my own secret plan. That's that's the most honest answer. Ooh, with the power from the heart. Okay, I'll tell them I have, I have my own secret plan. Well... Perhaps there may be surprises in store for me yet. Or perhaps you obscure your plans on principle. Or perhaps you are an instinctive bluffer. No matter. My final question is, if I had offered to let you join me, would you have surrendered Wraithguard, Sunder, and Keening to me to seal your oath? Well, the thing is, you're kind of a freak, and you encourage people to cut out their eye holes and put snouts in their face kind of created a new kind of disease. So, no, I, I would never join you. Thank you for your forthright response. And now, if you have any questions, ask them. Otherwise, you are the challenger. So I await your first blow. 
What is your plan for the heart? I will continue to draw divine power from the heart and distribute it to my kin and followers. I will continue to broadcast divine power upon the blight winds, so that it will touch each soul on Vardenfell, and then more broadly, across the waters to the rest of Morrowind and Tamriel. In time, every mortal in Tamriel shall feel the liberating contact with the divine. What is your plan for the sixth house? The sixth house will serve as the elite cadre of our movement. As cultists evolve through various stages of enlightenment, they will become, as suits their abilities, either holy warriors or priests. Their duty is to prepare themselves for service. Their joy and liberation is to enter ever more deeply into the profound enlightenment of the divine dream world. I think the guys that keep their faces are the priests, and like the dreamers are the warriors, the ones who cut their faces out. That's just a guess, though. I don't know. What's your plan for the Dunmer? I will free the Dunmer from the Imperial Yoke and cast down the false gods of the Temple. I will lead them out of their ancient superstitions and gift them with intimate knowledge of the Divine. Then perhaps, when Morrowind is once again restored to its ancient glories, it will be time to consider whether the Dunmer should cultivate ambitions of empire. That's ominous. How do you justify your crimes? If, by crimes, you mean the inevitable suffering and destruction caused by war, then I accept the burden of leadership. The Sixth House cannot be restored without war. Enlightenment cannot grow without the risk of upsetting the tradition-bound and complacent herd. And the mongrel armies of the Empire cannot be expelled from Morrowind without bloodshed. As I have charity and compassion, I grieve, but our mission is just and noble. What happened to the Dwemer? I have no idea what happened to the Dwemer. I have been denied the opportunity to study Wraithguard, and I am not sure how much of Kagranak's lore was invested in his tools, and how much in his own sorcery and mastery. I have long studied Kagranak, and have come to admire his wisdom and craft. Someday, after the campaigns of the Sixth House are secure, I hope to have time to dedicate to this mystery. Why are you building a Kulakan? A Kulakan will serve three purposes. It will be the champion of my arm. First, it will be the champion of my armies, liberating first Tamriel, then Morrowind, and then perhaps the rest of Tamriel. Second, it will serve as a sower and cultivator of divine substance derived from the heart. Three, it will serve as the prominent banner and symbol of our cause to defy the empire, to liberate mortals from ancient superstitions and to glorify our crusade against the gods. Enough talk. Very well. If you are impatient to begin, go ahead. You are the challenger. To you goes the first blow. That's a lie. He actually attacks you whether you attack him or not. See? Lion son of a bitch. Okay, famous speech coming up. These are some of my favorite lines in the whole game. God. Grab the intoxicating innocence. How could you be so naive? There is no escape. No recall or intervention can work in this place. Come, lay down your weapons. It is not too late for my mercy. So here's a Kulakan. It's not quite finished with him. Where'd he go? Did he fall off the edge? Oh, there he is. Seems to be having pathfinding issues. <laughs> um, so he's supposedly invincible, but um, technically he's not. You can damage him, but his his health just goes like right back up. So if you use the right, if you use the right kind of spells. 
can actually kill him. He's got dreamers. Ah, that is a loud spell. I'm kind of tempted to see what effects that spell has. Wrath of Dagoth, 50 points. Damage health. Just damage his health. It's not even elemental damage. Now, compare that to Almalexia. She she casts that spell that does, like, 100 damage to your... Um, 100 fire damage, and then it, it, it drains, like... 50 of your health, too, in addition to that. Just no comparison. Um, Alexia is by far the strongest god in this game. Well, living god, if you can even call them gods. Does he ever run out of magicka? See, his health just keeps regenerating. Alright. So all you need to do to win this fight is... Oh, shoot, my willpower. Hang on. Alright. So you need to equip Wraith Guard. Hit it. I forget the order. Do you hit it with Sunder and then Keening? I think that's how it goes. Ah, go away. So you hit it twice or three times. Ah, stop it. What are you doing? Stop! Ah, my ears. Stop it. Stop. It's annoying. If you look closely, you can see him fall off the bridge and then just fade into nothing. I don't know why that's not happening. Oh, I didn't hit it enough times. <laughs> Silly me. I guess my willpower is being damaged by something else. There we go. Alright, watch him closely. There he goes. didn't expect me to know how to flay the energy from the heart. I don't know if I really destroyed the heart. I don't know what the lore says about that. I mean, it looks like I destroyed it. But maybe it just went somewhere else. Oh, hey, Azura. Good to see you again. You no longer bear the burden of prophecy. You have achieved your destiny. You are free. The doom Duima's folly, Lord Dagoth's temptation, the tribunal's seduction, the god's heart freed, the prophecy fulfilled. All fate sealed and sins redeemed. If you have pity, mourn the lost. But let the weeping cease. The blight is gone. And the sun's golden honey gilds the land. Hail, Savior, Hortator, and Nerevarine. Your people look to you for protection. Monster and villains, great and small, still threaten the people of Vardenfell. Enemies and evils abound, yet indomitable will might rid Morrowind of all its ills. For you are thanks and blessing, our gift and token given. Come, take this thing from the hand of God. I don't know if I'd call you God, but okay. 
It's a nice ring. Constantly restores your fatigue. So when you're running, your fatigue, I think it goes up. Oh, not if you have Wraith or uh, Keening equipped. No? Okay. Oh. Gotta be careful with that. If you have Keening equipped without Wraith Guard, that can kill you instantly. So I've always liked the sense of closure you get at the end of um, the main quest in this game. Because uh, the things that are different now are that there are no more blight storms in the Red Mountain region. And uh, all the cultists are, are lost. They don't know what to do anymore. And the uh, the sleepers. Like the, the people in the in the towns that say that they're followers of Lord Dagoth, they their mind control goes away. Oh come on, let me talk to you. Vorus Bethrimo. Crozier of St. Lapis. Uh oh. <laughs> Wasn't even paying attention to my attacker. Oh, I'm still dying. Why am I blinded? Oh, Night Eye. Oh, and when you talk to the to the ordinators or any of the guards, they'll call you Nervery. And the temple will stop hating you. Because they'll realize that they were wrong. So yeah, that's how you beat the game the other way. Um, I guess we could do a bit of Blood Moon. We could just kind of breeze through it. I was a werewolf the last time. It wasn't that fun. I mean, it was just a lot of uh, having to re-equip my inventory. And since I've already done the werewolf path, I'll do the skull path so you can see both of them. And if you want to see me be a werewolf, just watch my old Let's Play. Or don't, because it, it's not very good. But later on the, the audio is better. But anyway, I'm rambling. Uh, next time, we'll probably go to Solstein.